right, so it's 2016. Happy New Year, everyone. Woo! So, it's 2016 for this video. It's uh, aside from Beyond the Camera, we also do some gadget uh, reviews or gadget unboxings. So, today we're gonna unbox the Black Magic Video Assist. So, can you see it? Okay, so Black Magic Video Assist. So, what is this? It's an onset HD monitor, it's also an HD recorder, and it also has quality broadcast connections so that means you could convert your connections from HDMI SDI and vice versa let's open this in a while before I open it so what is the technical specification it records to fast SD card and it records also an Apple ProRes 422HQ and ProRes 422 ProRes 422 LT proxy and avid DNX HD so that's SDI and HDMI and stereo headphone connections. So not only do you are you able to record uh, or monitor the video, you also be able to monitor the audio. That's cool. Aside from that, so it's powered by two slots of LPE6 batteries, and uh, that's why I have a lot of. Uh, it also has a kickstand uh, for desk mount. So you could uh, actually mount it on a desk. It has six one-fourth UNC mounting points. So you could use a tripod or anything with a one-fourth screw that has the same threading as the tripod. So uh, what's included in the box, we have the Blackmagic Video Assist, of course. And then we have the International Power Supply, International. It also has the Vinci Resolve software. I'm assuming this is the free DaVinci Resolve version because it doesn't say uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio and a software SD card. So it comes with an SD card. So that's so cool. So let's check it out. Let's unbox this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here it is, the Black Magic Video Assist. So let's start unpacking it right now. So as you can see, um, we have HDMI, ProRes, DNX HD, so it has 6G SDI, so it's an SD recorder, and 1080p full HD. So let's see what's And here we go. Oh, it has the Vinci Resolve, it's for Mac and Windows. Oh, and here we have the... SD card. So, yep. We also have the software manual and the venture software. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this is the international power supplies. Oh, these are a lot. So, here's the monitor itself. Five inches. Goodness. So, we have the HDMI. We also have the SDI. The SDI is, I think this is called the mini SDI or micro SDI. So I have a cord for that, this one, it's SDH, and so here are the six, so you have one about, at the bottom, we have the ports or the tripod mounts, so you can mount it on a tripod, so we also have one on top, we have the LPE6 mounts, I guess there's a fan, to me I have it uh, here, so I guess the fan is for probably to cool off the monitor so uh, let's start working with the cameras so here okay so before we test it on the cameras let's actually first turn this thing on so uh, let's try turning on I have genuine LPE6 batteries right here so we have two batteries here so how they turn this thing on oh there there's the on switch there's the power there you go. And there you go. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So we have the record button, we have the play button, and what else? Uh, in case we have an SD card slot right here. An SD card slot right here, so I will focus. There, the SD card slot right here. And so, yep, there you go. 
So it's it the interface is just like a black magic cinema camera. Everything's touch screen. You could probably select get ProRes. Okay, ProRes HQ, of course you wanna go with the HQ immediately. So we have the trigger record source. So I think the trigger record source is for when you press record in the camera it should actually record. I think right here, wait, where's my finger? Okay, right here we have the battery. So right now they're both full because yep, I fully charged it before we started this video. We have a zebra. So we have focus speaking, we could turn it on or off. And then we have guides. So we have ooh, HDTV guide, 4 is to 3, 2 is to 4 is to 1, 2 is to 2.39, and 2.35 to pay a bit amount. So we have, we also have a grid. Okay, what's the grid? Ah, uh, the, the, what's this? Uh, lower thirds grid. So let's connect this to the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Okay, so right now we have the Blackmagic Video Assist. And we're gonna test it with the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Now, you have to take note when you buy a video assist and pair it with the Cinema Camera, you need to have a mini BNC cable. So this is what it would look like. So uh, let's test it. So let's turn on the video assist and see if it works. And... There we go, so it's connected. So let's test out the JH4 and see if it works. And we're out. So here we have a test of the Blackmagic Video Assist along with the JH4. So we're going to test the HDMI capabilities. Will it connect or not? And uh, so let's take a look at if it will connect. So right now I'm shooting uh, my my cabinet and so far uh, as you can see the GH4 is already powered on so let's see what it looks like when as we turn on the video assist Doo -doo -doo -doo. okay so we powered it on and there we go okay guys so thank you for watching my video of the black uh, unboxing of the black magic video assist so uh so this is it, this is it, the black magic video is it's so cute right now, it's turned on. So let's press stop, so this is it. So far I couldn't find the only downside will probably be I'm not being able to record in 4K, but of course that's not what I bought it for. It's mainly a video assist and it's a big plus that I could record in 10 bit uh 10 bit uh 1080p up to 60 frames per second which is really cool why 10 bit 8 bit why did i get this well of course uh, color grading color grading is a huge step in my process um uh, when i color grade 8 bit footage uh, it breaks down a lot so easily that uh, uh, noise tends to come out and so much more problems with 8 bit as a friend told me garbage in garbage out when you record when you record in an 8 bit and you out in you always out in 8-bit no matter how much you convert it will never turn into 10 bit because you recorded it in 8-bit but now with the video assist i can record most of my productions in 10-bit which is cool uh i'm going to try and mount this on my black magic rig and i'm gonna give some output soon uh when i use it in the field so far i'm very happy with this purchase because i I'm going to be able to use it on both of my favorite cameras, the GH4 and the Blackmagic. So, uh, it's me, Jepser. I hope you liked my unboxing video. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, just uh, send them down below. And if you want to subscribe, so here's the subscribe button. I hope it comes out here. Here. I think the subscribe button comes out here. So, uh, thank you for watching. So, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon again with more tests with the Black Magic video assist. <laughs>